Hello students. Today we are going to start a very interesting problem on probability that is random walk problem of a drunker. So the random walk problem as it is written here begins in this way. There is a drunker and after taking alcohol there is a probability, there is a possibility it can move either at the left side or in the right side. We are taking only the two direction, not front or left. Otherwise, the problem will be much more complicated. Just for the simple randomness, the drunker can move either to the left side or to its right side. Now, the random walk is a concept in mathematics. Stochastic process or the Markov chain, you know. One step, one process, one event that already happened that will hamper or affect the future event in different ways. So, we are trying to build some model or we are going to bring out the probability of that particular events. What is the probability of staying in the particular point? It is very important to study like when you are studying the population genetics, you have a genetic drift. One set of people can shift to the other place. So in the statistical models, when we are studying the genetic drift, we can uh, study the random movement of the population. So we use this probability concept. And in the Brownian motions, you know, when the molecule said, what is the future probability, the randomness, future position of the different molecules. And it is also important in studying in biological aspect like a pathogen, the possibility of the pathogen which can randomly invade the different parts of the organ. So what is the probability of the getting particular bacteria in a particular like a, a liver or stomach? So we can make some mathematical modeling, uh, statistical modeling in biological system and also it's a huge application. So we are uh, interested in studying one, this particular problem that there is a drunker, it is in the position M. Now it can move to the left side or to the right side. You can cross check the some different PDF files are there in the internet. Those uh, files. Uh, comprises I found that one is an intricate mathematical problem. I am not from the mathematical background. So I found it very difficult. So I have made some simple calculation, some probability aspect. Very simply we can conclude ki what is the uh, possibility, the drunker uh, position like in the aim on the left or right. We will see. Come. So it can move to the left or right in any, any direction. The probability is half in both cases. So you can write it half and half. So now take one one condition. Suppose the question, you fix the question, find out the probability of getting the person at the middle after n step. Suppose it has taken 9, 10, 12, whatever the step and suppose it is taking one second for each and every step, not forward back but only the left, right. So what is the probability of getting this person in this line? Means what is the uh, statistical probability of having a population in its initial position without drifting. So, suppose at the beginning, at the t0 beginning time, it is at the middle with a 100% probability. It's fixed here. It is in the position at the m, the t0. So, it is confirmed. Now, it can move to the left or to the right side. So, in the t1 first second, either t equals to 0, t equals to 1, either it can move to the left side or to the right side. That's probability is a half. Now, in the t first second, the probability of b in the m line in this point, the starting point is zero. It cannot be here. Either it's here, if you take it zero, so either it is in the minus one or in the plus one position. Now, next, what is the probability of being here in the time two? Now, this position is the minus one to the left side. So in from this position either it can move to this this one or to this one. Same way this can move to the left side or right side. So I think uh, you have read about the Pascal's triangle. So we can create a triangle like this. I think I can draw it here like uh, one one two one one two plus one three two plus one three 1, 1, 3 plus 1, 4, 6, 4. This particular triangle is called Pascal's triangle. We can apply it in the binomial expression. Like if I say A plus B whole square. 
a plus b whole square. So its coefficient is coming from here. A square plus 2ab plus b square. If I write a plus b whole cube, so number of terms will be 3 plus 1, 4. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4s. And the coefficients are a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. This is the way we can uh, find out the coefficient. In, in the same way, there is a triangle similar to the Pascal's. We can make it. Now tell me the probability of getting here. It is 50% to be in the minus 1. It is also 50% to be in the plus 1. So what is the probability of coming in this point? Half cross half. It is the 50% of the 50% to be here. And the same way, it is the 50% of the 50% being here. Means 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 means 2 by 4. You can take it. Uh, 1 by 4. 2 by 4 you can take simplify so it is after the two seconds so it's two square means if the time is two the formula comes in this way two to the power time every time you are going to get this uh, uh, sample space so what is the probability after n step is there any formula we can conclude we can build up now what is the probability of getting this person uh, in the left side left side that is the 50 percent of the 50 percent it is half means half of the half means 1 by 4 in the same way the probability of getting this person to the minus 1 to minus 2 then it is plus 2 so it is 1 by 4 so after two seconds the probability of getting this person at the middle is 2 by 4 to the minus 2 position is a 1 by 4 and plus 2 position is the same 1 by 4 so it is coming in this way. I have drawn one uh, figure regarding this. You can see it here. So if you see the first position, it is 1, then 0, then you are getting the probability 2 by 4. Next again in the third cycle, it is given. You can see here. You can see it here. In the T3, it is 0 again. In the T4, it is 6 by 16. So in this way, we can proceed. Just you cross check it. So the question is that after the one step, after the n number of step, what is the probability? So we have erased everything, just we start from the beginning so that we can have a clear view like the beginning it is a 0. So B in the position 0 probability is 100%. It is there in the first T0. In the T1, the first second, it can go either in this way. So half probability is the and here you have a zero probability. Now in the next time the probability of being here is half of half as we have done 2 by 4. Now to become in the position minus 2 it is 1 by 4 and it is also in the plus 2 also 1 by 4. Now when it is in this particular position tell me in the next step 0 1 in the t2 what is the probability of getting in the minus 1 that is half of 1 by 4 because it can move either in the minus 3 position or in the minus 1 position 2 position is there either minus 3 or in plus 1 so it is the half of 4 means 1 by 8 plus 2 by 4 into 50 percent half because it can this position again it can move to the left or right this is so it is 2 by 8 equals to 8 by 3 by 8 so this is the probability in this way, so in this way, you can get the probability distribution of those particular um, the drunker. So after the three second, you can see even if you take the odd numbers, like if I have taken uh, odd numbers like three, one, you are going to get the probability zero in the odd position. It cannot be in the middle. You can draw it and you can cross check it. But if it is in the even position, you can get the probability. Uh, just I have drawn up to the uh, t10 second same way you can follow this one up to t10 second that is uh, next is a is a 2 by 4 that is 6 by 16 then it is 10 by 20 by 64 in this way you are going to get the values is there any rules is there any method to find out the probability after the n cycle in the middle find out cross check try yourself is there any patterns you are getting let me tell you 
So up to this, it's clear. So 1 by 4, then 1 by 8, then 1 by 16, it will move like a Pascal's triangle. Here also you are getting the probability. Now, wherever there is a, a drunker is present, in the next step, it cannot be present in the same place. So below that, it always 0. Suppose, now next cycle, it will be 0 after 3 by 8. Because it can move either left or right. So I have drawn it. I have written all the probability we are getting in the all the even number of times like t2 we are getting 2 by 4 t4 means it will be t to the power uh, 2 to the power 4 16 6 by 16 in the t6 sixth second it's 2 to the power 664 1 20 and uh, in the eighth second it will be 2 to the power 8 uh, to total probability sample space uh, 70 by this and the t2, uh, t, uh, t10 second it's 1024 so can we see some patterns here like if you take the time to you are getting the sample space here 4 16 but is there any patterns in the sequence 2 6 20 70 252 it seems it's impossible series correct do one thing you take t as a 2n like if i write 4 equals to 2n, then you are going to get n equals to 2. So we'll take the time in 2n format. Then we can use one formula that is 2n factorial by factorial n the whole square divided by 2 to the power 2n. This is the formula we can use to get the probability of being in the position middle position zero position or m position after n number of steps suppose it has taken suppose i have moved left one step then one step right then one step again left again one step left then what is the probability of being here in the middle point the more step is being taken you can see the probability will change and it will be reduced so we can take one value to prove it suppose you have taken uh, time 8 so 8 equals to 12 that means this will be 2 to the power 8 equals to 2 to the power 8 equals to 256 2 to the power 5 is 32 then 64 128 256 and here we have taken 2 n equals to 8 so 2 n equals to 8 then n equals to 4 so 2n equals to 8 as it is 8 factorial divided by n means 4 factorial then whole square it's going to be it's equals to it's equals to 8 factorial means 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial then 4 factorial into 4 factorial 4 factorial whole square by 256 so it's 4 into 3 into 2 then 2 2 3 2 6 70 by 256 as it is there and it was there so you are getting in this method so this is the formula we can use 2 n factorial divided by n factorial half of the time whole square whole divided by 2 to the power the time like 8 second 12 second whatever 24 second even number but in case of a odd number the probability of being in the starting position will be zero that is the concept now in this way we can find out the probability of the initiation point because in the markov's chain or in the chaos theory we are trying to find uh, find the what is the previous condition of a system if you change the previous condition of a system it will hamper the entire future uh, aspects or events so in this way if, if we are capable to find out by this formula in two dimension okay, what is the position uh, probability of getting the position of the first step first initiation point so we can solve some from problems the statistic uh, statisticians are there they can solve the they can make the models and solve different types of problem that's it that is what i'm trying to say that's it thank you so much for listening completely thank you